Welcome back to Drollers Garage. Uh, did a quick video of underneath the car. I uh, was, you know, under the car anyway. The car was up on the lift, so I figured I might as well just take a quick video uh, so I could see underneath it. Uh, was Didn't find anything I wasn't expecting to find. It's pretty clean down there. So whatever, you know, just a quick video. It's a couple minutes long, so no big deal. I uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, let's do a video underneath the car. The front pan looks impeccable i always see them banged up but this one is not it's actually in real good shape uh all of these screws all of this stuff missing here i took off i have not put them back on i needed to get to the cable for the frunk that's up there and i had to do it with the wheel on so i kind of took a lot apart i need to put that back together uh, i see a screw missing here i did not take that one out i did not take that one out so obviously someone has been here before which is always a little scary. This uh, brake duct, this uh, cool uh, air duct here looks like it's seen better days. Fortunately, those only cost like 30 bucks. So I will replace the two of them. Oh, you know what? Forklift, Copart, animals. You see here how they damaged. But yeah, that's what that is, definitely. The beasts with the forklifts. All right, let's move on down. Um, everything here looks good. Everything here also. Looks like all these little studs are still here. Those are notorious for breaking off. They really do break off easy. You would have think those Germans would have come up with a better system. But maybe it's going to take an Argentinian to let them know how it's done. Kidding. All right, let's see what else we have here. Let's bring some lights. Um, this one too looks a little messed up. Again, I can change that. Yeah, everything is stock except for the Shark Works bypass, the center bypass. Um, I might throw some headers on there. And if not headers, I might possibly put some side deletes and the center muffler on. I have the red car set up that way and I really like the way it sounds. This sounds really nice too, but I am not a proponent of weight and those mufflers are heavy and I'd rather they not be there than be there. And what I've seen is from the other car without those mufflers, uh side deletes and then going into the stock center muffler even on the on the bottom pipe on the loud pipe it's uh sounds similar it's not too different uh so i might do that i see some rusty bolts here obviously from the water from the flood that's really the only damage i see i'll spray some uh some pb blaster or something on it clean them up but otherwise, it looks really clean under here. I mean, clean. It's dirty. And there goes more. Forklifts. Those guys are savages over there. But it's not their car. What do they care? So that's it. Tires are brand new. Uh, uh, Michelin 4S's. Uh, the wheels are powder coated black. They look beautiful. So really underneath here, everything looks nice and clean. No surprises. Motor's a little dirty though for being 22,000 mile motor. Uh, I think mine is probably cleaner. That car almost has 60,000 miles on it. But whatever. It is what it is. All right. That's it. That's the bottom. So there you go. There you have it. Underneath is super clean. Car obviously has never been hit or anything like that. There's no surprises down there. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, hit the like button, all that sort of stuff. And let me know if you guys want to see more stuff. Um, if I don't get any feedback, then I'm not going to keep making videos. So let me know. Thank you.